Hi, this is Jim Sackman, your Focal Point Business Coach, and this is another of our Success Friday videos. Again, this top, the topic series we're in is financing your business, and this week I want to talk about an SBA loan. And an SBA loan is probably one of the very first loans that you'll talk about when you get involved in a business. And the reason is it's an extension of a, a small business loan from a bank or similar financial institution. Now, there's a reason that this is really important, um, but I'm not going to get into all the details of SBA loans themselves. Now, an SBA loan is really important because of the underwriting that I talked about in last week's video. And underwriting guidelines for most banks are that a business be in the same corporate form that it has been for the last three years and that you can show three years of profit in the business. Now, if you're trying to start a business, of course, that's not possible. So to reduce the risk of that, an SBA loan helps lower the risk of the bank by providing a level of guarantee of payment so that you can get an SBA loan even if you don't have good credit in your business. And that's really important for uh, a startup business and it's one of those things that, that most people uh, end up getting as part of this. Now. SBA loans are not free. Think of it like having mortgage insurance on your home. As you get more uh, value in your home, you no longer need the mortgage insurance. And as your business gets more established and more profitable, you will no longer want to pay the fees associated with an SBA loan. So you may choose to refinance that small business loan. Um, but it's, it's one of those things that is really important, especially at those early stages. Now, what's required uh, is going to be a good business plan and clarity on the people that are supporting the good business plan that the business is going to present and a financial plan that supports that you're going to be able to repay the SBA loan. So you're going to need that to get started and uh, many people really don't want to talk about the numbers in their business but if you're going to talk to a bank you need to provide them numbers that show them how they're going to get paid their loan back and then a narrative which is the other part of the business plan that helps explain why your product or service will be successful. So I hope that helps on one of the very early topics in debt funding for a small business. So this is Jim Sackman from Focal Point. Change your business, change your life, and have a great day.